Afternoon everybody, it's Romero17 and I'm bringing you this minor step slash side step, whatever you want to call it, video. And it's going to show you when's the best time to implement them and how to capitalize off of them. Not just against specific strikes, but at the end I will show you just to get your mind going a specific combination that you can use it against and then for against anything else feel free to play with it on practice mode and see what you can get but with the minor lunge you can go back and go forward you can go left you can go right and i'm gonna show you how it all works out when you're playing the game so the most basic strike that you can sidestep is the side kick specifically the lead body side kick whenever you side kick a uh, side step a strike there's a whiff period right you're making a miss and you're causing the whiff there's a brief time where you make the miss that you can counter off you can get at least one free shot even two if your opponent is kind of worried watch here that first shot i tried to have connor block his head and he couldn't block his head next little mix up that a lot of people like to follow up maybe to throw off your time you'll throw in the jab and combo it in with the sidekick but even if it's comboed in you can still land a free strike to the head and if you want, you can switch it up to the body too. If your opponent starts to preemptively block their head. So again, left stick, left or right. Don't go up or down. You want to go left or right to dodge the lead leg side kick. Next I'm going to show you guys is two combinations that a lot of people struggle with that are also side strikes that can be evaded by the side steps. It's, first it was the oblique body spin side kick and then the jab. This mix up screws with a lot of people. But I'll tell you this, you can eat the first strike of both of those combinations and dodge successfully see how much stamina gets lost off of that whiff so right here watch when it eat the oblique kick doesn't matter that he landed that oblique kick i could still sidestep and coincidentally i could try to sidestep the oblique as well but it's a little bit risky so i'd rather eat it and it land some big counter dam damage off of that whiff i'm gonna show you guys again oblique kick sidestep the body spin side kick look how much stamina gets lost that's a perfect opportunity to strike jab block the jab sidestep that kick perfect opportunity to counter the next one this is the big old gsp the straight followed up with the same side rear side kick again doesn't matter that's in a combo i can still sidestep this and i can land devastating damage with those hooks as long as i time it accordingly i'll be able to relatively take off a huge chunk of his head health and i'll be able to get a drop if i'm lucky Usually GSP players try to implement these push kicks so they can get you to the cage to go for takedowns. But if you go for this and you fire up an uppercut, man, it's GG. Alright, next one. Zabi isn't the only one that has this, but he's a perfect example to use. It's this annoying spinning side kick to the head. You can't duck this strike. So, if you want to block and sidestep, you can. It'll still drain a lot of stamina. But if you got some real good cojones on you, you can sidestep it without the block and it will take a huge chunk of his stamina and there's a specific strike that due to the frames it deals a lot of damage and they cannot block this they cannot catch it they cannot block it and it's stance specific as well right so we're the same stance right here if i sidestep this you notice how his feet's trying to get back to the trying to get back to the mat the moment i sidestep it i'm gonna fire off a lead body kick he cannot block it, he cannot catch it because of the whiff window and because of the frame advantage. If I try to go with a rear body kick when I'm orthodox versus orthodox B, he can catch that kick. Now watch, if I'm southpaw and I'm going against an orthodox B, I'm going to fire off the rear body kick. It's a little bit faster. He has a little bit of more time to let, catch that uh, lead kick, lead body kick. And it's just not going to do as much damage. But me being southpaw is going to land to the liver. Now if it's the same stance... Right? Cool. Ain't no thing. Same thing when it's orthodox, orthodox. Lee body kick. Boom. Now, this is probably the most advanced thing to do. This is probably the hardest thing to do. And there's a specific law that I'd like to follow when it comes to doing uh, minor steps against combinations. I'm going to show you a very simple combination just to get the gears going in your mind. It's the one-two head kick. I use, I don't recommend doing this when you're against the cage because obviously the cage is going to block you off. And if you mistime this... You get dropped uh, dropped against the cage, there's a slight chance you might get finished. So this takes a little bit of skill. Now right there, you notice, when I block and minor step, he still loses stamina. See that? You see how much stamina he loses? Even though I blocked it in a sidestep. And then that's what happens if I let go of the block and I sidestep and I time that head kick. He loses a lot more stamina. Now, due to the height difference between Max Holloway and Aldo, I like to go 
body straight Lee body hook. If it's somebody around similar height, say like Connor or whatnot, I'm going to go with uh, two hooks in the head. But you can also go body straight head kick, and that one works really, really well. Right here. Dude, so look at that animation. <laughs> He's screwed right there. But yeah, that's pretty much... Just to get the gears going, you can use all your sidestep strikes against linear strikes. So especially those spinning kicks that are extremely annoying, that are side strikes that you can't duck or they push you away. Those are the strikes you really want to go for the side, the sidesteps for. And against combinations like this, if you could, if you could perfect your timing on specific combinations with the back step of the sidestep, you're gonna be getting a lot of KOs online. So Mario 17, little sidestep introductory video. I'm out of here.